Hello friends, today we will understand diode IP characteristics using lab view program. So this is the equation of the current in a diode. So this is I is the diode current, I0 is the reverse saturation current and this QV, this V is the applied voltage and K is the Boltzmann constant and T is the absolute temperature. Okay, so let's start the program. So first I will go to the mathematics, then elementary, then exponential. Here I will choose exponential x minus 1. So this plot will give me this things that means e to the power q v divided by kt minus 1. So but I have to do the x for that I have to do this q v divided by kt. So now I will go to the numeric and divide okay so at room temperature this kt divided by q this value is 25 milli electron volt so here i will create one control so this is the v and so this i will create one constant so this will be the 25 milli electron volt or 0 0.025 volt so this will go as x here okay but i have to multiply with i0 with this whole part so for that i will go to the numeric and then multiply then this option okay so this i will create control so this is my i0 so actually this is the j0 but if you multiply the area so it will become i so but here i am writing it i0 uh, okay so now this is the indicator create indicator so this is the current i i okay but if we want to see the uh, iv graphs so I have to put this whole thing in a loop and I have to put one graph. So, okay, let's do that. So, I am going to the structure, then I am going to the for loop. So, I am putting this whole thing in a for loop. And for the graph, in the graph section, I am going to express an xy graph. I will put the xy graph. Okay, fine. So, here this I have to include in the within the loop and so this uh, current will go in the y input and this voltage will go in the x input okay now i don't need this i so i'll delete it and okay fine but i need many points to see the graphs so I have to iterate, create many iteration point. So this is the loop count and this i, it will start from 0. But if we multiply this with some constant, let's say 0 0.001, then I will get more iteration points. So I will create one constant and 0 0.01. So i will start from 0. So first point will be 0. And second point will 0 0.02, third point 0 0.03 like this. So and this I will connect as a voltage. So now I don't have to put it from outside. It will take automatically. Okay, fine. And now I have to put here iteration point here. This loop count I will put as a control parameter so I can put from the front panel and here this the reset button I have to cre create it constant then false otherwise I cannot see the whole graphs together okay fine now everything seems fine okay let's run the program in the front panel I have to put some parameters that is the i0 and numeric how many iteration point we need so typically this i0 is a constant 
but it's not actually constant but for the simplicity we can think as constant so here i am putting it's the value of i0 1 exponential slope minus 12 and numeric i will put here 650 actually so that i can go to the 6.5 volts around so now let's run the program let's see what will happen okay see this is the diode iv character chips so here you can put this the current density and this is the voltage okay so now one more thing if you want to visualize this more cal you can put one time delay so i am going to timing here i am giving on weight so let's say the weight is around create uh, constant this is the 50 millisecond okay fine and this plot i will create one colorful plot let's say this uh, okay this plot visible common plots i like this one okay fine now i will run the program let's see what will happen see now if we increase the voltage the current is zero and it's there is a particular voltage at which the uh, current will start increasing with the voltage let's see which what is that point is not 0 0.4 okay from 0 0.5 onwards it is rising and okay 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 fine so but if you change the diode that reverse saturation current you will get some another curve or let's say if you are putting it minus uh, 11 and run the program what will happen okay it's uh, current is zero or current density is zero with voltage increasing uh, 0 0.3 0 0.4 okay now we can see that the on voltage is decreasing compared to the previous okay so this is the iv characteristics of a diode so you can do for reverse saturation current also that means for negative applied bias voltage because in this case here i only showed for positive bias so you can do for negative bias voltage that i am not doing in this program but you can do in your own and see what will happen means that breakdown voltage and everything so that will be quite interesting so this is the program of this iv characteristics of a diode 